Hello everybody and welcome to Unstoppable Bonus Gaming. Today we're playing Pokemon Trading Card Game Online and today I'm going to win a match for you guys because that's what I do. It's time for me to get serious and time for me to start winning some stuff. So let's go ahead and go on to here and start winning some matches. Uh, what kind of thing? I, kind of, I think I kind of want to use a just uh, expanded deck, one that I've built myself. Um, which one do I want to use? I have a lot of decks here. Let's go ahead and go with my Xerneas. Let's go with the Xerneas Summer one. Is this the one I want? Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Shiny Xerneas deck. Uh, that's my uh, expanded one that I built. Uh, so let's go ahead and go with that one and play. Yeah. All right. Today I'm gonna win and defeat you guys or someone who I'm fighting. Today I'm fighting Chris, Christian Torin, twelve. Christian Torin. It's time for you to go down and time for you to face the wrath of. I think my game. Never mind. I thought I crashed for a minute. Uh, he's calling the coin flip. Let's see what he gets. Hopefully we get the first move. I want to go first. Uh, that's the way Xerneas is going to work. I um, wonder what kind of Pokemon we can get. If we can actually get some good Pokemon off the back, that'd be pretty sick. And he called... Oh, I won the coin flip. Yeah. Uh, who, who do I want to do first? I'm going to say... Um, no, I do not want to go first. I'm going to let him go first. I'm going to divert the second half. Just kidding. That doesn't happen in this game. But let's see what we have here. We actually have no basic Pokemon. Uh, so we're going to have to reshuffle, and they're going to get a free card. Uh, our luck is really paying off in the first thing here. Oh my god. That's just perfect. That is perfect. Let's go ahead and get a second thing here. Oh, and of course we get Xerneas and Xerneas. Okay. Uh, what do we have up here first? We have two basic, three basic Pokemon here. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and put Xer... No, I'm going to go ahead and put Mawile on the thing, and then start building up these guys here. Oh, that's gonna help out a lot. Come on. I'm trying to put a Pokemon on a bench, and I don't know why it's taking so long. Why it's kind of lagging. Uh, come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Satellite Radio. Let's see what we get here. His Pokemon is Tepig, and Tepig is actually super effective against my Pokemon. That was a bad choice, I guess. Kind of. Um, I don't know what Pokemon are in this deck. I've actually never used this deck before. It's kind of one that I got from opening a Xerneas tin, I guess. Uh, so it's been a long while since I've ever opened one. We got here, discard a card from your hand and look at the top eight cards of your deck. Put one of them into your hand and shuffle the cards. Okay, let's take one of our cards out. I'm going to take get rid of one of these electric energies. Um, and then we're going to look at our top eight here and see what we can get. Oh, what do I want? What do I want? I don't know if any of these are going to help us. Okay, uh... Okay, let's see what we want here. I'm going to go ahead and take that item card. That way, whenever this Tepig knocks out my wall, wow, we can take it and we can move it somewhere else. Um, but let's go ahead and stick on a just a fire energy, I guess. So we can do there, and we're gonna go ahead and attack for our first turn. Let's see if we can get that paralysis off with the tight jaw here. Is that paralysis gonna work? And yeah, he's paralyzed next turn, so Tepig's not gonna be doing any damage to us soon. Tepig, you little you little loser. And this guy obviously is a fire. Guy. These are some cool sleeves he has on here. The little fire sleeves those are really awesome. Um, let's check these Xerneas and see what they got. Uh, Xerneas has got this power creation, and Xerneas has got this breakthrough. That breakthrough is a really powerful move. Um, if we could get something good from that, that'd be awesome. I really want Professor's Letter, because I don't know if even... Do we even have fairy energy in this deck? I don't think we have any fairy energy at all. I didn't, I didn't even check. I should have checked. Because um, we have Xerneas now, we don't have any fire energy. Okay, so he has now has two on his, so he can do 20 damage, and then on, on this would be 40 damage, so that'd be half our health already. Uh, but the good news is we can move one of our fire energies to somewhere else if we need to. But I say we should just continue uh, raising up Mawile a little bit. And let's see what he does. I think he just played the same card I just played. Maybe like a, maybe kind of like the same card. Not the same card exactly, but close to it. Um, and it looks like he's going to evolve his Tepig now into a Pig Knight. Uh, let's see if he can find it. Hopefully he can't find it. And yeah, he found his Pig Knight. Uh, so it did evolve. So there goes that. So I think that, does that agree with the Paralysis when it evolves? I think that gets rid of the paralysis when it evolves. Oh man, that's gonna hurt. I don't think I can do any moves actually. Okay, we have a, we have a Snorlax now. Oh, he has a really really good. Um, he has some really good moves here. Uh, but since I don't think we have any uh, energy on our uh, other Pokemon, we're gonna just gonna build up Snorlax here. Uh, let's go over that tight jaw again. See if we can get that paralysis effect. If we can get it, that'd be dandy. But we did not get it that turn. So that is that, and I actually have my little coin here. I can flip it and roll up and just get some stuff going on here. Uh, this coin actually has a little froakie on it. If you guys want to see that little froakie coin, that's pretty cool. Come on, what did he pull out over here? Is that a Growlithe? He has a Growlithe. Oh, does he already have an Embor? 
He already has the super crazy Pokemon. I don't have anything over here. Oh my god. Alright, Fire Blast is there. And yeah, that took that out. Um, so I guess we gotta go ahead and put up a Pokemon here. Uh, we're not gonna put up, we're gonna put this Xerneas here. Uh, so that way it doesn't take two prize cards from that Xerneas here. Why didn't I not get the energy from the XP share thing he had on? I was supposed to take the energy off, but I guess not. Um, can I not play anything? Can I literally not play anything at all? I don't think I can play it. Okay, That's just garbage. I'm going to lose this match already. So we're probably going to do another match, guys. This is going to this is gonna suck. I have to at least win one today. At least win one so that we can have a good video. And, of course, he has that fighting for your belt. He has the Volcanion over there. I think that's the Steam Siege Volcanion. I can't remember if that is. I think it is. Yeah, I think it's the Steam Siege one. If there even is another one. I don't know if there's another one at all, actually. Um, Growlithe is looking pretty cool over there. And, of course, he gets the heads. So that's going to do some good damage there. Um, what card do we get? Come on. Can we save us? Uh, gosh. Search your deck for one basic EX or three basic Pokemon. And put them on your bench and shelter your deck afterwards. Okay. So we can either get one. We can get regular basics or we can get one EX. Uh, we don't need another one of those things. So uh, what could we use here? We can't use support. So we can take these up here. Oh, man. Ooh. Let's see, let's just take the Smurgle here. Um, what else can we take? Uh, we'll take another, we'll take Heat More, since we have Fire Energy. And I guess we'll also take uh, Stun Fisk. And that's what we're gonna take from that. Um, we'll put those on our bench now. So our bench is now full. Um, we can't really do anything still. We don't have any energy at all. I think this deck is just a flop right now. Or I'm just having the best, worst luck of all time. I might need to like build a deck and use it. I don't know. If we don't win this one, we're going to go ahead and use my Gyarados deck next time. My Gyarados deck is my favorite deck that I have. Um, so it's a pretty good deck. Let's see what we get from this. Come on. Okay. This attached to this Pokemon has no retreat cost. We're just going to save this on Snorlax. So Snorlax can just move around freely if we can ever get Snorlax built up. But so far we've had zero energies. Um, I thought the energy was supposed to switch unless he got that energy taken off. Uh, yeah, he disc. I guess he discarded energy. No, I don't think he has enough energy to even do that. So I don't. I don't know what he would do. He got tails again. So Xerneas is now out of the battle. We're gonna have to pick somebody to go up there now. Um, I say we go ahead and send in Heatmore uh, to be the active Pokemon. And what card can we get from this? Give us some energy. Oh, we got some energy actually. So let's go ahead and stick this on Snorlax here. If we can get anything to go down or just anything to go away. That'd be great right now. He has something set up, so I guess he's not getting energy either, or he's just holding back. Um, so, I don't, I don't know what he's doing, what he would even be thinking. If you can't destroy two games, search your deck for Pokemon or build, put it into your hand, shelf your deck. I don't need the Ultra Ball. That's not a good thing. I don't need Pokemon. I need energy. Where's my Professor's Letter and stuff like that? I need Professor's Letters. That's what I need. Um, but he's taken two prize cards already. He has two Pokemon built up, and it's just not looking good right now. It is not looking good. Oh, man. He's about to take another prize card and be halfway... What is this? Search your deck for a card that evolves. Uh, you know what? I'm actually just going to end this. I'm going to end this right now, and we're going to go ahead, and we're going to go to a different battle. Uh, yeah, we're going to concede. Yes, we're going to concede. This is the worst deck I've ever had in my entire life. When do you get coins for conceding? It's like the worst thing ever. Okay, we actually got 11 coins. Okay, we're done with that. Um, let's go ahead and pick out a different uh, thing we have here. Look at that. that. That had nothing in it. It's too much energy, too much Pokemon. Um, do I want to use my, I want to use my Gyarados deck. I think it's pretty good. We're going to go ahead and play with that and see what we can get. Hopefully we can beat somebody, but if we can't, we can't, man, you know? We'll play with what we can play with. We'll grind with what we got. Okay, let's see what we got. It's water versus water. This is going to be good. Uh, but it said he had an advantage. Why does he have an advantage for? Um, let's go for the heads. Mudkip, the Swampert coin always gives me heads, but except for this time. This time it don't give me heads. All right, uh, he is choosing who goes first. Um, I don't know who's gonna who's gonna pick. I guess I don't know. He's gonna go first, so let's see what he does with that. All right, all right, all right. We already have some okay stuff coming up in here. Uh, we actually have no basics again. Why are we never getting basics and stuff? This is garbage. They're gonna get a free card now because of that. Oh man. They're selecting the starting Pokemon. I have no Pokemon at all. Nothing to use at all. Losandre, Pokemon Center, Tierno, 
Uh, I have nothing. This is garbage. I got a Mega Swapper. I thought I was doing good. I saw the Mega Swapper. I was like, yes. But then I realized it was Mega, and I realized it wasn't Swamper EX, and I was like, ah. So that's that. Um, I actually have the Mega Swampert. Uh, I bought the Mega Swampert thing, and I had a little playmat Mega Swampert, and I had it right here. And I'm using it as a mouse pad, actually. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And this guy is taking forever to sell their starting Pokemon. I have no starting Pokemon, and I can't select them because I can't I can't do anything because you're just sitting there, man. Come on. Pick your Pokemon, please. There he goes. Come on. And uh, I had nothing, so let's see what I can get. Give us a good hand, please. Good hand, good hand, good hand. Not a bad hand. Uh, what does Gyarados do? Mm, this attack does 10 damage to each bench Pokemon. Okay. Flip a coin for each water energy, so that's going to be good. Um, but we can also do this. Uh, Reggie Ice is a really good Pokemon to have at the beginning. Uh, so we're going to go Reggie Ice. We're going to go uh, Magikarp. We're not going to use that Magikarp now, but we're going to finish the turn there. And we're going to switch it on over. And let's see, what, what did Magikarp... Magikarp was could have hit a 30 if it flips two coins and they both hit heads. Uh, so Magikarp is pretty useless. It wouldn't take long to get two water energies. Um, if this guy would just hurry up and end his turn now. So we can go ahead and get this match over with. Then we could go ahead and do some stuff. But we can't right now. Okay. And his first Pokemon is Oshawott. So he's like Oshawott. I have like a Gyarados deck. So my deck is mainly based around Mega Gyarados and Mega A. Uh, Mega Swampert, so those are two Pokemon that are going to be different. Um, he has that out first. Shuffle your hand into your deck, flip a coin, draw seven. Alright. Let's see what he gets. And he got Tails, so to draw four cards only. Um, let's see, yeah, Lapras. Lapras is always good. Lapras can get those cards in the air and running. Uh, let's see what else we got. Come on. Why is this thing you popping up on the screen for? My turn to run the thing. So we get our, our card we get here. Put four basic energy cards from your discard, discard into your... Uh, let's go ahead and draw three and so we can get here oh we are getting some good stuff we are getting some good stuff i say we go ahead and put this on reggie Oss, and we go ahead and we put this on magikarp and we go ahead and we put this on here and we're getting some stuff set up right now and we're going to end the turn there and let him do something i don't want to put the other magikarp in right now because i'm not feeling that that magikarp needs to be in the match right now let's see what he does is Oshawa going to go for the 10, or is he going to switch out into Lapras and get that Lapras Aaron running in? Because Lapras Aaron running can do very, very good. Um, I think if uh, I think I have some Lapras in this deck. If I don't, I might switch out with Milotic. I don't know if I did or not already, but I really like Milotic, so I just stuck it in there somewhere. Just so I can, ha just so I can have one in the game. Um, and I wish this guy would actually hurry up. He does not have a cooler deck box, deck box than I do. My deck box is really awesome. Um, it has a Gyarados on it, a shiny Gyarados. Uh, I have a shiny, mega shiny Gyarados card in real life, like three of them. Uh, I thought they should have been rare, or maybe I just got a lot of them because I'm lucky or something. Uh, but I have a lot of EX cards, and Gyarados is ooh a Manaphy EX. I've never seen that card before; it's new to me. Um, so that is good. And he puts Manaphy EX down on the field, and each one of your water Pokemon that has any water energy has no retreat cost. So these Pokemon can switch in and out however much they want. So that's gonna be pretty good. Um, what else we got here? Come on, switch us. Give us a good card, and we do have an EV Soda, uh, which is not really going to help too much in, in this area. Uh, but let's go ahead and start building up Reggie Ice again. Reggie Ice is going to be really, really good against uh, EX Pokemon. That's the main reason that he's on here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go for that Ice Beam. This is going to do 40 damage, and it's also going to have a chance of paralyzing. Let's see if we can get it, and we did get the paralysis, but I think the paralysis cannot uh, retreat, so the retreat cost is actually not going to really matter that much at all. Uh, let's see what he does with the card he got. If he did get anything good, if he can't do anything at all, he just can't play. Uh, he might have to end his turn now. Um, this match is looking more favorable to me. Uh, at the beginning, it did say that he had an advantage in his deck, and I don't know why it would be, because we had each had just only water deck. Uh, so I don't think it would really matter that much. He has 44 cards in his deck, and I have 42, so I've withdrawn more, and he's put more back into his, I guess. Um, I don't think that would be a problem later on. Uh, we don't really run out of cards that much in the actual online game. But let's see. We'll see what happens down here. I'm ready for this guy to move. He's trying to like think of some kind of strategy right now, but I think that this is pretty much it for him. He doesn't really have much to do. Um, I don't think he can switch out. Unless he evolves. I think if you evolve, he gets rid of that. But he's going to put Lapras down, and Lapras is going to have that massive attack. Um, let's see what we got here. Yeah, we're going to have uh, that. So let's go ahead and start building up Gyarados a little bit. If we can get Gyarados built up um, just even a little bit, uh, that's going to help him a lot. Let's see if we can get anything with Ice Beam, if we can get this Paralysis again. Uh, but it's actually enough to take him out, I'm pretty sure. 
Yeah, so he is gone now. We're going to get a prize card. Uh, this is the first prize card of the day. Let's see if we can get it, guys. I'm going to go top, bottom left. Bottom left has been good. And, yeah, it's a water energy. Not too bad. I'm actually uh, glad we got a water energy. Uh, let's see if he, if he doesn't have a water energy in there. He can't hit me with that powerful attack. But if he does, then he... Okay. So now he can get two cards. So he's probably going to get some water energy. I don't know if he's going to put it on Lapras or not. Um, but we're going to try to get Gyarados built up right now. If Gyarados can get built up, then... Uh, Oh, we have more. We have a Seismitoad EX, and here he is fully built up now, and he got the tails. Uh, so that's that's gonna hurt a lot. That's gonna hurt a whole lot. Um, what do we got here? Another Gyarados. We're just gonna save this on the field here, uh, just so we can get some stuff down right now. Um, later on, uh, we will be able to take this uh, after this Pokemon dies. We're gonna be able to take the Fisherman and use him to get the energy out, so that way we don't lose our energy. Um, let's see if we can get the paralysis off. That's going to do some 40 damage. And we didn't get the paralysis, so uh, can he take me out next turn if I do have 40 more health than normal? Uh, so that means I still have 70 hit to the 70, and yeah, he can take me out next turn. Uh, so that should be pretty, pretty easy for him to hit out next turn. So yeah. Uh, see you, Reggie. Ice, you have not been taken out, so you're going to have to do something about that. We're going to stick in Magikarp, though, because we're still trying to build up our other Gyarados. Let's see what we can get from this. Yeah, we got a water energy. That's going to be really, really handy. Um, we're also going to evolve this Gyarados. And what else do we have over here? Should we use it now? We should go ahead and use it. Um, let's just go ahead and take this out here. We're going to take these two water energies, and we're going to dine with that. And that's where we're going to end our turn now. Uh, next turn, if uh, we're just going to try to build up and stuff. And if Gyarados does uh, end up being sick and awesome, uh, yeah, he's going to get... He's going to do 120 damage anyways uh, without any of that. And these guys have 180 and these guys have 120. So he's already going to be able to take out some Pokemon in one hit. Even without uh, the the luck of the, the draw and stuff. Is he going to go for the Aaron running? Yeah, looks like he's going to go for the Aaron running now. He knows what we're doing with Gyarados. So uh, I didn't expect him to do anything crazy. Uh, but I, I don't know what he was thinking. Uh, maybe we, we should have probably switched into other Gyarados. So let's see what he does. Seal and search your deck for three basic energy. Reveal them, put them in your hand, and shuffle. Okay, so he's getting all his energy built up right now. Uh, what can we do with this? Uh, turn all your prize cards face up. Okay, let's turn all our prize cards face up now. So we can now see all of our prize cards. What do we have here? Uh, we have all of our energies in here, and we need those desperately. Um, so let's go ahead and just uh, build up Gyarados again. And Gyarados is now fully built up. So if Gyarados does get in, he's going to do some massive damage here. He has 130 health. I don't think anyone can hit 130. Uh, that guy can hit 130 exactly. <laughs> That's going to suck uh, if he does go in. Um, I'm just going to wait for that to come in. Uh, but we're going to build up as much as we can. If I don't win this battle, at least it was a better battle than last time. Uh, because last time it just, it just sucked, man. Last time was the worst battle of all time. At least I'm actually getting some good Pokemon here. We haven't run into any EXs or Megas or anything yet. If we can get those, and I just remember, this is a cool full art. By the way, this is a, just a really cool uh, full art Seismitoad over here. I like that a lot. Um, he's going to get those air in running, and this is where Lapras comes in really handy. If you can get Lapras set up against the thing right here, I should have put Gyarados in earlier. Um, if I did, then I probably would have been able to take out all these Pokemon here. Uh, let's see what we got now. Yeah, we should be able to get this Gyarados out of the way. You're getting close to it. Uh, we're going to end the turn there. It's going to take three energy to... Uh, get Gyarados to where he needs to be uh, to get out, but I don't think I'm going to treat him. I think I'm going to use him to attack if I can. If I can use him to attack, then I'm going to attack uh, Lapras with the, this big attack here. Um, I'm, it's also going to do damage to my Pokemon too, so it's going to kind of suck. But does it do damage to all bench Pokemon? Okay, yeah, it does bench to, this, this damage to all mine and his, so it does 10 damage to every single one of them. Uh, that's going to be good, I guess. It's going to hurt both of us, uh, but in the long run, it'll be good for me. That's the best thing I can do because I don't want to retreat into something because then I'll have lost all the energy that I just had. Um, that Aaron running is really getting on my nerves. That's what Lapras does, and Lapras just builds up huge decks and makes everybody uh, really, really powerful. So I have like three of those in my real deck. You can see Misty in the background. That's kind of a cool like, kind of thing. And yeah, of course, Level Ball is going to come in. He probably has all his trainer. He's probably had every single trainer card he has in his deck. He probably has it right now. So that's what we get next, and we got another Magic card. So that's something else to put on the field, I guess. Um, we're going to go ahead and send in this uh, energy to this Gyarados here. We're going to need one more energy before we can actually attack and stuff. Uh, but if we can ever get an attack off, it's going to be good. Uh, because we have two Pokemon built up. 
He has one basically built up. He evolved this Pokemon into a Cloyster. What can Cloyster do? Cloyster can do some pretty good stuff. It looks like it can paralyze and stuff. And it can also discard an energy attached to that Pokemon. So it can it can do a lot of stuff. It can oh man, this is a bad, bad Pokemon. Is it gonna take off my it can take off Oh thank god. Thank God. What can we get here? We got a Gyarados EX, so that's gonna suck because we just used all of our uh, other stuff on him. Uh, what can we have here? We're just gonna end the turn here. If I could, if we could just get lucky here, if we could get lucky, can we one shot this thing? Yeah, we could one shot that thing if we wanted to. Um, if we could get this Gyarados out, why can I not get this Gyarados out? Okay, he can hit the, this big attack up here. Uh, I don't think he'll go for it. I don't think he'll go. For, maybe he will. That's going to do a lot of damage if it does. That's a really, really strong attack. And he goes for a tempo. And he's probably going to build up another Palpatoad or Toad. I don't know what kind he has. And he's going to shuffle the hand. He has so many support cards and so many trainer cards that I do not have uh, because I do not have any good stuff. I've been getting lucky, I guess. Um, he's getting those bad flips and stuff. So he does with this attack here. He goes for that Clamp Crush to get that energy off there. Does he get it this time? And yeah, he's going to take it off. That takes off an energy and it paralyzes, I think. Yeah, that is that is a garbage attack. That is that is garbage. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and stick that on there, um, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to evolve, I guess, into uh, Mega. Can we evolve into Mega Gyarados? That's Gyarados EX. Where is Mega Gyarados? We need Mega Gyarados. Mega Gyarados. Where yet? Um, do I even do I even have Mega Gyarados in this deck? I don't have. I don't even have something to use this for. I actually can't even use it. So, uh, end my turn there. So we're, that's all we have for that. Um, we basically used all of our water energies on our Gyaradoses and now they're gone. Uh, so there was no point in even trying. I guess I should have tried to build up something else, but I didn't have time to actually do it. I should have ended my turn and waited for later. Uh, but you know, uh, I'm not a pro at Pokemon card battling and I'm not ever gonna be a pro probably. These guys are here probably play all the time. Um, I don't know what his stats and stuff are. Can you check that right there? You can check your stats. I don't know if you can. Uh, but yeah, that, that crab hammer is going to destroy here. Uh, but I should be able to take out his Pokemon in one hit if I get lucky enough. Um, that's really going to hurt his Pokemon a lot more than mine, I think. Um, let's go ahead and put in my Gyarados. I feel like Gyarados is going to get lucky enough to take out his Pokemon here. Uh, we're going to take this water energy and we are actually going to... We're going to stick it on Gyarados just for extra luck. Uh, Gyarados... Please hit this. Uh, flip a coin for each water energy. This tag does 30 more damage, so it's already going to do 120. Um, if we can get the good luck here, we're going to get one head. So we're going to get two heads. We're going to get one tails. We're going to get three heads. We're going to get four heads. Yeah, that's going to be enough to one shot that Pokemon. That's going to do 230 damage. And we're going to get two prize cards for that here. Uh, so we're going to go for the double colorless, and we're going to go for the water energy here. And yeah, which we should get. Yeah, okay, there we go. So it worked. For me, I thought it wasn't working, and I was like, no. Uh, but yeah, so we can go ahead and start building up our. Battles in the middle of Pokemon battles that are really epic, um, but I don't know what that just ha what just happened there. What just happened there? Okay, he's gonna have to take off one of his energies on here. I have an extra energy, so it's gonna be tough for him to even get this out here. Uh, but so far, we can take out every single one of his Pokemon in one hit. Um, and Cloyster is his last chance. Let's see what he does here. Uh, we'll be able to take off the energy, and yeah, you got enough to take off the energy. So I'm paralyzed for this turn, and I also have no energy. Um, but let's see what we got here. We got Swampert EX, and let's go ahead and see that on there. We're gonna go ahead and stick on this Gyarados's uh, double, uh, double white energies. Uh, we need one more water energy before we can build up uh, Gyarados EX. And Gyarados EX is actually, um, I think, is it better? Uh, it's not better than this Gyarados. This Gyarados is actually better than him. I may, might be, maybe I should have built up Swampert EX for the Mega Swampert because I actually have a Mega for that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and end the turn now. Uh, it's opponent's turn. I'll see what he does with his Magikarps. He has little Magikarps too, so I guess, yeah, he has the same one as me. He has a Manaphy, he has a Temple, he has Lapras, he has everything. Uh, let's see if he gets the Paralysis this time. If he does, it's going to suck really, really bad because then we can't do anything. Um, yeah, I guess we could uh, still do the three attack and take out the Pokemon, but I think we should start building up more Pokemon. Uh, Gyarados EX, maybe. I should have built, oh, waited for Swampert, but I never know. You can never anticipate what Pokemon you're going to get. You just get what you're going to get. And, of course, this guy goes in for this. Uh, let's see what he takes out with this here. Um, we're just going to sit over here and maybe build up our Pokemon right now. See what we can get out of this. Uh, we should be able to take out the rest of the team, honestly. And 
and Palpitoad. What can this do? Oh, the defending Pokemon is now confused, so he can actually confuse us, uh, which would be really good for him, I guess. Is Supersonic going to confuse? And yeah, I guess it always confuses, yeah. All right. Uh, can only be confused. Card provides water energy with attached to the Pokemon. What does it say? This Pokemon is knocked out by the Pokemon. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's take this and put it on... Let's just go ahead and take this card and put it on just uh, Gyarados, just to get it out of there. And we're going to go and we're going to try to attack here. We're just going to go for the uh, small attack here. So we can do, we get Tails and we hurt ourselves. So that's going to suck. Um, and it looks like he's going to come in and be able to sweep that up if he can. Maybe Garrett, maybe Lapras can sweep it up. That Manaphy being able to switch in and out the whole time, that's really going to, that's going to help a lot. So, um... Is he just going to go for the Hyper Voice the whole time? If I'm still confused, uh, how long do you say I'm confused for? Three turns, I think. I think it's three turns. I didn't read the thing. It just popped up on the screen. I should have read it, but I didn't read it. Um, he goes for the Hyper Voice, and Hyper Voice is going to be not enough to take me out, uh, but it should be enough. Oh, and we get this. Um, I don't know if this is going to be enough to even do anything here. Uh, does it heal our confusion? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. That's perfect timing. Perfect timing. And we have Gyarados fully built up now. So Gyarados can now attack with that Splash Burn. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go for the regular 80 damage attack. So that way we can get some damage on his other Pokemon here. And yeah, that's going to do damage to every single Pokemon in the field. That is a really powerful attack. This is a really powerful Gyarados. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go for some more water energy here. Take that one out so that we can get the water energy back. We can, if we can put it on Gyarados before he dies, I guess. He should die this next turn. They're going to be able to take him out pretty easily, probably. Oh, uh, what do we got? What do we have here? And... I don't know what that that is that uh, heals all their Pokemon. What he just did, I don't know what that was. And the Aaron running, why is he going for Aaron running for? He knows I need two two cards left to win this game. Unless he has some kind of secret. If he has some kind of secret thing pulled up here and he weeks me in the end, that's gonna suck. I actually thought I was gonna lose this game, but it's looking like I'm doing pretty good. Um, let's just heal up Gyarados really quick. Uh, I don't. I thought that was actually something else. Uh, but this is actually okay. No, 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 no. We don't need that. We don't need that. We're just going to end that turn. I don't, I don't want to end my turn, though. Um, we're just going to stick this on Gyarados here. Uh, so Gyarados has that now. We're going to go for the Aqua Tail, which is going to be enough to take him out anyways. Uh, but we're going to go for the Overkill. Uh, see what we can get. And, yeah, that was a really bad flipping. Um, we did 170 damage only that turn, but that's still a lot of damage. Take that water. Take that water. Okay. Gyarados, you are looking good out there, man. You have five energies on you. The other Gyarados has four. Um, so this is just a Gyarados deck, just full of Gyarados everywhere, Gyarados and Malotic and uh, Swampert. That's a really, really strong deck. I use it, I use something like it in real life. I don't use these Gyarados. I use Shiny Gyarados uh, EX and Mega Gyarados EX. I don't use the regular Gyarados card. Um, I use a lot of Lapras. Lapras does help a lot. What else do I use on there? My other main Pokemon that I use is probably regular. I have a regular um, Swampert, uh, Mudkip, and Marsh Top Evolutions and stuff. So that's that. I have the, I think it's called Ancient Trait. I have that Ancient Trait one, and it has like a good trait where it can like, it has like, it can put two, I think it can, it can put any prize card, it can, know what, it can put any, you can switch, you search your deck and you put any Pokemon uh, card you want on top of your deck. Um, let's see what he does here with this. Uh, he should be able to take me out if he gets lucky. He has the Articuno now. Um, I have the Articuno card in real life, I think. I think this one I have. It's got the Ancient Trait thing on it. Yeah, so it has like two abilities. I have one, my Pokemon card, uh, Swampert, has two abilities, and it's really, really crazy. He's going to try to come back with that Tosma Toad here, but I just need to take out one Pokemon, and I'm actually going to have to do it this turn. Um, if he doesn't get the Paralysis, it's over. And he did get the Paralysis, uh, which is pretty lucky. Uh, so, congratulations on that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start building up every single Pokemon that we have over here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to Swampert next. Swampert is the one next one. Uh, it's going to earn some building up. Uh, we can't do anything, though, uh, because we don't have... We're paralyzed, and we lost the energy, so that's going to suck. So we now have four energy on Gyarados, and Gyarados is looking pretty, pretty bad. But he's building up this thing up here again, and it just needs... Uh, it can do its regular attack. Um, what is it going to do? Please don't paralyze again. Don't do it two times in a row. And, of course, it does it again. Um, that is actually garbage. Uh, let's see what we get from here. We're getting water energy everywhere. So we're having a lot of Pokemon. We have two EX almost built up all the way. We're going to end the turn now. Um, if he does take out Gyarados, he's going to have a hard time doing anything else because we have three Pokemon built up. Uh, 
this attack does 40 more damage for each water card in the top. Um, he didn't hit the energy retrieval. And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say this game is over yet, but it's pretty close. I have I need one more prize card to get it. And I really want to win. He's doing his best to stay in the match right now, I guess. Um, that's better than I did. I forfeited earlier on in the last game. Uh, but um, I was losing pretty bad, to be honest, and I didn't really want to do it. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, the Mega Gyarados is really overpowered, and I really want it on here. And he did switch, so let's see what he does with that. That's going to have a... He's going to have a, a good time trying to get a Pokemon out. Uh, he's going to take out... I don't know what the point of that was. What was the point of that? What was the point of that? Come on. <laughs> Why am I asleep so much? Why am I asleep so much? Okay, let's go ahead and just stick this water energy on Swampert. Um, and Swampert can do the 120 damage attack pretty soon. Uh, after this next water energy we can put on. We're just getting water energy all the time now. Uh, we're getting super lucky. Uh, hopefully I say that way and get in the turn here. Come on, what do we get? And we're asleep. We are asleep. Yeah. I probably should have attacked that turn or tried to attack um, so I could wake up or something. I don't know if I should have. I don't know how sleep works. I forgot. It's been a long time since I played Pokemon cards, guys. It's been a long, long time. Um, this is going to be a long video, probably. Come on, come on, Gyarados, get out. Come on, Gyarados. You guys need to hurry up and attack. You guys take forever and when you're playing cards. Everyone is always taking forever, searching through every single card that they have over here. Um, they have their huge discard thing over here. Uh, and we have our discard thing over here. And we have two EV sodas that we wasted. Um, we didn't really need them, I guess. I didn't want to end the turn for Mega Swampert because I had a lot more stuff that I wanted to do. I accidentally used it. I thought that was actually a fresh water and I was gonna heal up on Gyarados, uh, but it didn't. It wasn't a fresh water, obviously. Um, let's see what Seismitoad has here. Seismitoad is built up, so now he can use Grenade Hammer. Um, that's gonna be enough to take out uh, none of my Pokemon in one shot, really. And he doesn't really have anything. He has a lot of energy now, I guess. Um, I don't know what card he has that does so much uh, energy stuff. Grenade Hammer, take it away, boy. Let's see what you got here. Um, that's going to do 130 damage, and yeah, some to itself. That's really going to, that's going to suck. Um, what can we do with this? What should we go for? The 120 or the 130? We should go for the 130 one, obviously. Uh, we're going to stick this card in here. Uh, what do we have now? What do we have? What do we get over here? Can we get something good? Uh, more water energy. Let's go ahead and stick that on Swampert. So Swampert now has that. Um, if Swampert was in the play earlier, then we would have had a lot of uh, damage being done. Um, let's just go for the 130. Come on. What's it going to do? And that's going to do 130 damage and 10 damage to our own side. Uh, so that's going to hurt him a lot. Uh, hopefully he can't heal that. Um, he did heal 30, uh, but that's not going to help out too much later on because my uh, Swampert can hit a lot. Um, he can one-shot me. Um, no, he cannot one-shot me. Uh, but this Pokemon, he's gonna try to paralyze me here, and that's gonna suck. If he does get this off, that's gonna get rid of my uh, colorless energy. Don't get it, don't get it, don't get it. Yes, he didn't get it. Um, and now it looks like I won the match, basically. And yes, victory, I won the match, guys. And that is it for today's video. If you guys want this video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you all next time on Assault of Gaming. Thanks for watching.